Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about. Do watch the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So today what I decided to do for you guys is review this documentary on um, parents who are trying to find ways to um, alleviate the suffering their children are going through. A lot of these kids have some very serious illnesses in this documentary. I'm not going to tell you everything about this documentary, but I'm just going to talk to you about and point out the things that stuck out to me and the things that I know that can be changed, but just aren't being changed. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do a dab session on this video which I don't do often. I have my dab rig um, right here. And, um, yeah. I've got some, uh, this is butter, I think. It's, um, gelato is the name of the strain of this concentrate. And it's very strong. <laughs> very much needed. <laughs> so, here we go. And a scoop of this concentrate on here. show you how much I get out. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today is Monday for me. And hope you guys have plenty of medicine to help get you through whatever it is you need to get through for today. So I just got through doing a bunch of chores now. It's time for me to relax. That's why my hair is all put up. I know a lot of people will say, um, why do you always wear your hair up? It's because um, I don't want anything to get in it or to get damaged as it gets more lengthier a lot of them are going past my shoulders so I have to put them up when I'm doing house chores so that's why <laughs> all right I'm gonna use this torch and heat up the banger this is the banger right here and so here we go I usually like to uh, heat it up for 45 seconds before I use it that crackling and stuff is just uh, moisture that's in there and you will occasionally see a flame at least with mine because of that um, because it's getting hot so it's nothing to worry about as long as you're doing this in a open environment, you're not like in a closet or something. <laughs> it's safe. Okay, so here we go. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for joining me for today's dab session and review on this documentary called Weed the People. It's called Weed the People. Yeah, interesting. Cheers. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Oh man. Dab and you won't be. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Good Lord. Okay. Good to go. <coughs> <coughs> Mm. Oh, it's 
something in my eye. So anyway, um, yeah, the name of this documentary is called Weed the People. And this documentary uh, is lacking in so many ways, like so many other documentaries are. Um, but here's the bright points of this uh, documentary. They were treating, I think, uh, three or four, no, five different children, different ages. Uh, one of the, two of the kids were, one was like a baby, toddler age, and she had this huge ass gnarly skull, uh, scar on her skull. Because she had, I think she had some sort of brain damage or of some sort. And they had to do chemotherapy on her. And every time they did chemo on her, she felt like shit. <clears throat> which is expected with chemotherapy. Which a lot of people who have read about this and actually have experienced it know. It's no joke. It really takes it out of you, the chemotherapy. I don't know from experience, but I know from friends who have had to have a double mastectomy. Uh... <clears throat> because I had cancer in both breasts, and they talked to me about this kind of stuff. So um, I only know from secondhand knowledge, uh, not firsthand knowledge of getting chemotherapy treatments myself. But they showed that um, as some of these people were uh, getting these chemotherapy treatments, the kids, um, that right alongside of it, they have found, the parents have found out that they can use a cannabis oil to help with their condition, maybe to actually eliminate these bad cancer cells. Um, so they, all the parents were doing a good job by doing their research and their homework. What really pisses me off is the doctors because you have to have, <clears throat> because they're dealing with children, they're getting even more crazy about it. And uh, like having you uh, stay on this regimen of having your kid have chemotherapy when it's fucking them up. You know, when they didn't have, it seemed like when the children and the teen, the two teens, <clears throat> they were getting uh, the oil, they seemed like they uh, were fine before, but then they had the chemotherapy and then they're wrecked. But here's the positive side to this, despite the fact that they uh, were doing the chemotherapy treatments, because they kept going on with the hash oil on their kids, dosing them up with the hash oil every day on a consistent basis, then the cancer cells were getting killed. And a lot of the, a lot of whatever fucking symptoms or side effects that they get from the chemotherapy is way worse than what they would get with cannabis. They showed with cannabis, all they got was a little giggly or, or sleepy. And that's good because these kids need to sleep. Sleep is the best thing for healing. One of the best things for healing is sleep. And that's why some people have these old injuries that never heal. Because we're constantly working all the time and never having a chance to just sit down and do nothing and rest our bodies completely. So um, <clears throat> this this uh, documentary came out in 2018, um, and I liked seeing that, that there's actual people out there that care about these children that are suffering. Uh, but just cut out the chemotherapy completely. What if we could do that and just dose them only on the cannabis oil only because we already know how strong speaking of strong I already know how strong like this concentrate is concentrated form of THC and that's what that cannabis oil is it's a concentrated form of THC and that's what these children need in order to heal in order to live a somewhat normal life you know and um, it was really cool to see these kids thriving only one kid um, died in this documentary. It's a little black kid too. I'm not saying there's any racism involved, but I'm just saying it's just weird. It's just ironic because the kid seemed like he was doing really well. <clears throat> but I think it's what's ha what happens is that chemotherapy fucks them up. Not just kids, but adults too. A lot of people have been damaged by that, and they think that this is a way of getting rid of it by burning it, radiating it. It makes shit worse. So um, it's going to come a time when we won't even use this method. Doctors won't use this method because they know that it's not helping, really. You know, <laughs> it's not helping. So, yeah. I. Um, it was funny in this documentary, there's this one woman in there. Um, when she was younger, she said that she had no interest in cannabis or, or 
they call it marijuana in the uh, documentary, medical marijuana. So when you watch it, that's the terminology they're going to use. As I've said before, I don't like using the word marijuana. I like using the word cannabis. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to use the word chiba. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, that's what they're going to be using uh, when they talk about this medicine, this beautiful medicine. And um, <clears throat> it was really awesome to see these children after they gave them, administered their dosage of cannabis oil, to see how they felt. They looked like they were just a kid, how a kid should be, happy, ready to go play, you know what I mean? And out there being active and, you know, all the things you did as a kid, you know, playing outside and reading a book or whatever, um, having fun, doing some art. It showed these kids feeling optimistic and one kid graduated from high school while he was being administered these dosages of cannabis oil kind of showing you that no it didn't impede his uh, learning it actually helped completely helped him so um, <clears throat> they're t they're tackling a lot of things in this uh, one documentary showing you uh, that a lot of these stereotypes aren't true I have some of my grapefruit juice it's ruby red grapefruit juice. I um, juiced it. I had bought some grapefruits yesterday. Actually, this is um, this is delicious. If you have a rough dr throat, here I go into into doctor m or herbalist mode. If you have a really rough throat, <clears throat> or even if it's sore, even buy some grapefruits. Or even buy some, if you can't find any grapefruits, buy some grapefruit juice. And that really takes care of that soreness because it's antibacterial, antimicrobial. Um, <clears throat> it kills out whatever is fucked up inside your throat and lungs. Grapefruit juice. Anyway, <laughs> but back to the review. Weed the people. Um, yeah, I, what I don't like about this documentary, and it's from 20, 2018, so, but it doesn't seem like too much more progress is being made with cannabis. I think it should be a lot further along. Like, we should have smoke. Smoke bars, place to go where you can smoke. Uh, I know with the, the pandemic and everything, that puts a wrench in it all with these ideas that I have. But um, <clears throat> once all this shit's done with, and we don't have to be so so cautious and walking on, you know, tiptoes all over the place um, and not getting too close to people, I think that'd be a great thing to do to open up a smoke bar where you can um, have somebody on on site they can help, you know, and advise. <clears throat> so, because there's a lot of people who have been smoking for ages, longer than I have, and they have loads of, you know, knowledge to share. But it's a matter of the powers of be to make this happen. <laughs> we have no control really that much over it. Uh, we don't really, do we? But I think that would be cool. And I think that it's good to put this out here, showing that uh, yes, children can also benefit from the from the medicinal. Uh, oh my God, the medicinal benefits of cannabis are numerous. You know, so do your research and do your homework before you make snap judgments about things and about people. Because a lot of people probably think, I don't care about you know having cannabis available medicinally for children. It just sounds ridiculous. Before you say that, actually do your research and see what kinds of uh, diseases and conditions that this herb is helping for children. Children who have learning disabilities, children who are have severe ADHD, children who have, um, <clears throat> you know, just have this problem with focus. Children that... Um, have a brain tumor, it's just like the list goes on. It can treat just as many problems that we have as an adult as it does for children. So just do your research and um, I'm not saying go out and get yourself a sack and light up and hot box your child. I'm not saying that either. There's a lot of people out there that mistake, you know, and think goofy things and that's a really goofy thing. So. <laughs> But yeah, if you want to check it out, it's on Netflix. It uh, came out in 2018. It's TV mature <clears throat> because they're talking about cannabis and children. That's the only reason why it's TV mature. There's not a lot of people cussing and all kinds of stuff like that going on. 
is just showing the reality of how tight it is, what, how, what you have to do to get this medicine if you have a child that is suffering day after day, not able to sleep. I mean, I think I have problems with sleeping. Some of these children, because their conditions are so extreme, <clears throat> they're lucky if they get three or four hours of sleep, I'm sure, a night. You know what I mean? It's, it's sad. And I was happy to see uh, the children. And they show the end of the documentary how the children have thrived from uh, getting on that regimen of using the dosage of the cannabis oil every day. They showed at the end of the mo at the end of the documentary how each child um, is thriving, except for the one that passed away. So uh, that's kind of weird. I don't know what that's about. I might want to check up on that specific child and those parents, see if I can look them up and find out what happened. Because I feel like it's the chemotherapy that's fucking these kids up. They think that they're making it better, but they're fucking the kids up. And to some degree, I think there's some deception going on because they're wanting to kill off children. They're wanting to kill off the next generation. But cannabis is saying, no, <laughs> you can't do it. You can't. We're not going to become a robot society. You know what I mean? We're going to... People are still going to continue to have children, whether you like it or not. You know, but it's just crazy. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. <laughs> but you know what I'm getting at with, uh, <clears throat> we've got an herb that can help to cure and, and so many things. But they're trying to stop it up because doctors want to be able to continue to make money selling these prescripts. That's all there is to it. It's not going to go on for much longer because parents are fed up. And when they're fed up, they find alternatives. And that's one funny thing about this documentary. There was a lady in here that had a little baby, really cute little baby, blonde-haired baby, really pale. And she had that gnarly scar on her skull. <clears throat> she had some sort of brain, I think, brain tumor. And um, she was just having all kinds of problems. Um, Anyway, she sought the help of this one woman who had her shit together and knew how to administer the oils and everything. Very professional lady. Um, and <clears throat> once the woman understood how to do this, how to dose her child, she decided that she didn't need she didn't need that woman anymore. So she wasn't buying from her her oil. So that lady got a little miffed. So anyway, you'll see that in <laughs> you'll see that in a documentary. All this. This competitiveness does not need to exist, you know? I mean, if somebody doesn't want to buy your oil, then they don't want to buy your oil. <laughs> you got to find what works. So too much competitiveness is ridiculous and unnecessary when it comes to this plant. Canvas isn't all about competition. Who's first? It's not. It's about healing. That's all it's all about, you know? All right, so... I'm going to take one more dab and skedaddle and out of here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do a dab. I'll do a, um, do a bong rip instead. That's a good idea. Have some, a little bit of this, uh, I love this stuff. I just got it and I did review on it. Um, hash berry. Chocolate hash berry. Oh, my God. Beautiful. <laughs> love it. Very really. amazing. That's about all I have to say about this um, as a review for this uh, documentary called Weed the People. A lot of the documentaries sh fall short all the time, and it's mainly because um, they're late in the game. <clears throat> they should have been on this a long time ago, but it seems kind of late in the game. And uh, some of it feels like it's, it's uh, not real, these documentaries. But um, especially when they showed that little black boy that died, he didn't survive. He looked like he was thriving after he was taking the, the cannabis oil, having that administered to him on a daily basis by his parents, and then, then he ends up dying, but all the other kids survived. I don't know. I mean, it just seems suspicious to me with some of these some of these documentaries. If you watch it, you could tell me what you think about that, if you think that's true. I don't know. It just seems weird. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos with your friends and family. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you've seen this documentary. And, um, and let me know what you think about um, dosing 
uh, children who have these extreme, extreme conditions, medical conditions, with cannabis oil. I think there's no problem with that. So, and you can see my past, my past videos where I talk about this, just this subject. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. If you want to donate to this channel, you can go to my PayPal, my Google Pay, or my Cash App. In exchange for your donation, <laughs> I'll create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you, or I'll create a <laughs> I'll create a video based on a topic of your choosing. <laughs> I got a little distracted. <laughs> With that said, bread is blessings to y'all, and I'll see you soon.